Lucas Media. So before I go forward, just want to let you guys know, give my opinion. And what do you guys think would happen in this scenario? Put your opinions in the chat. So, Customato, who was Mike Tyson trainer, Customato passed away at the age of 77 in 1985. Mike Tyson was 19 years old. Now, Customato was not only his trainer. But his father, his legal guardian, uh, he helped run all his run Mike Tyson business. Him and along with Bill Caden and Jim Jacobs, who was his co-manager, along with Kevin Rooney as his trainer, as y'all can see in this image right here. What if Custom Model would have lived and uh, Jim Jacobs would have lived? How much different would not only Mike Tyson's career be, but sports in general? So in this scenario, we'll say that Custom Auto lived to the year 2000. Now, for those who say he'd be in his 90s, well, Bob Barum and Don King are in their 90s. It's quite often people who live in their 90s. So let's just say he lived to the year 2000. Which means, and everything else still falls into place as far as his early matches. He ends up, he still goes on the same path. Cuss originally passed away when he was 4 0, but he still fights the same fighters. He ended up fighting uh, Joe Fraser Jr. and. Trevor Burbick. He also ends up fighting Michael Spinks for the showdown in 1988. That if Custom Model would live to the year 2000, the entire world, entire world of sports would be different. And while y'all say that, let me give you my let me break down why. Number one. Mike Tyson would have been the highest earning athlete from about 1988. I say to maybe like 1997. Now you guys will say, well, Michael Jordan was. Well, the only really difference between at the time, Michael Jordan and Mike Tyson was Michael Jordan's team. If you go back, and we'll just go to 1988, when Mike Tyson fought Michael Spinks, Mike Tyson was getting paid $23 million for that fight back in 1988. This is when his co-manager, Jim Jacobs, passed away and a couple years after Custom Model passed away. Michael Jordan was making millions as well, but it was nowhere near that amount in 1988. Michael Jordan was, he wasn't even the highest paid player in the league until the last couple of years. So Mike Tyson made $23 million in 88. He would have still went to fight Larry Holmes and beat him. I think that fight would have been bigger. He also would have married Robin Givens because Custom Model would have been able to keep an eye on him and Jim Jacobs. And he also would have kept Kevin Rooney. So I think he would have been a whole lot better going into the 1990s. Michael and Mike Tyson was on the was on I think Mike Tyson would have been on the cover of Wheaties. Mike Tyson would have had an endorsement deals now he did i remember he had he did have a game and he was sponsored by adidas but i think you would have seen mike tyson in everything Ford commercials gillette commercials airline commercials and not to say mike was marketable too 
and Michael was considered one of the best athletes, but it's something about being undisputed, undefeated heavyweight champion of the world, especially back then when arguably the best boxers were still more popular than basketball players. Mike Tyson was more popular than Magic Johnson back then. Yeah, Magic had multiple rings. But everywhere you go around the, around the globe, Mike Tyson was known as the baddest man. He was marketed to where nobody could beat him. I think Mike Tyson would have made an excess of $50, $60 million through that 1990s run. Now, I don't necessarily think he would have went undefeated. I think he may have possibly lost to... Riddick Bow. I see him. I see a prime Mike Tyson in Holyfield. I, and again, this is if Kevin Rudy cuts some miles alive. I see it going a close fight, but I got Mike edging out Holyfield. Lennox Lewis, let's say they fought in 96, right? When they both was in their 30s. Even if they fought then. Still got Mike edging by. You know, at this point, Cuss is he an older guy, but he just there. And Jim Jacobs, you know, he's still holding on. And through all of this, they 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 work with Don King, but Don can't get to Mike like how he wanted to because Mike had a he had a team around him. Even if Mike Tyson lost, he would still go down as probably the greatest fighter of all time. And I think that he was really the last push for boxing as far as like boxing being so much popular than majority of the sports that the youth would have came up through the gap grassroots. And I think that now boxing would be bigger than basketball, but probably the UFC because at this moment, the UFC is bigger than boxing. Remember this scenario, Mike Tyson, he doesn't go to jail. The Nintendo game. And I think that everything Mike Tyson would have touched would have turned to gold. He also would have been the first athlete to earn over a billion dollars while, while actively being a fighter. Now again... I do think Mike would have been up there, but Mike to me would have been the second best, even with his six rings. And again, for those who disagree, just go back and look at the look at Mike Tyson back then. I think Mike Tyson could have easily gotten into promoting. And Mike Tyson would be where Al Heyman is, or Mike Tyson promotion would have been bigger than Golden Boy's promotion ran by Oscar De La Hoya. I could have seen Floyd being under Mike Tyson, uh, Tank being under Mike Tyson. For sure, I could have seen him getting Adrian Broner and, and, and mentoring him. I think that will... Mike Tyson would have retired from boxing. It would have been the biggest thing of the 1990s if he retired then, or even if he retired in 2000. You could say arguably he might have been the greatest athlete of the century, <laughs> even 1990s or even rolling into the early 2000s. And I do think that he would have got that WBO belt when it came out in the 1990s. And again, all this, everything still the same, right? The WBO belt comes out. Mike Tyson collects that. Now he's the first fighter to ever be undisputed in the four belt era. That still has not happened to this day. You could say Tyson Fury had all four belts at one point. But never at the same time. And it's just crazy how one person can alternate history. 
I think that boxing would be a thriving sport and majority of casual people would at least know who the champions were because while the thing about boxing is you could have been to Mike Tyson at middleweight, at welterweight, at light heavyweight. You know, so it opens up the doors and it makes more possibilities. Like only so many people can play basketball. Versus, you know, if you five seven, a buck forty, you can still be recognized. Look at Tank Davis. Look at Devin Haney. Look at Shakur Stevenson. Look at these brothers. These fighters are making millions and Imagine that times 10, and I think that that's where the state of boxing would be had custom model lived versus basketball. Again, basketball, I think it'd still be a good sport. I just think that in America, boxing would be bigger. Think about the UK. Boxing is huge in the UK. They're always selling out Wembley Stadium. And I believe the O2 Arena over there, that's how it would be over here. Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence would have fought in front of 100,000 people in at Dallas Stadium. And the world would have stopped. Which, again, I'm not taking nothing from that fight. I'm just saying, in this reality where everybody was diehard fans of boxing, just like how in basketball, the casuals will watch the games. So this is my quick point. I might I might make another video, even going into more detail. But what do y'all think? Put y'all thoughts in the comments. Of, do you think that boxing would be as big as it was? Or what do y'all think would have happened if Custom Model would have still been alive to the year 2000?